HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Good afternoon, Royals. I'm Ian Baker. And I'm Kate Hartman, and we're here with your newscast for Wednesday, December 13th, 2017. The deadline to order your copy of the 2017-18 Scepter Yearbook for $50 is fast approaching. Be sure to visit yearbookordercenter.com and reference job 8684 before December 20th to reserve your copy. The price will increase once again during winter break. See Mr. Club Busnick in B-130 with any questions. If you haven't heard, the spring musical is Disney's The Little Mermaid. There will be an informational meeting tomorrow at 3 in the Little Theater for those wanting to find out more information about how to get involved, including audition information and career applications. Please check your library book's due dates and make sure to return all overdue material before the end of the exams next week. If you are not finished with a book or you want to pick up something new to read over the holiday break, stop by the library to renew or check out something new. Have you ever wondered why learning a world language is so important? Well, Ryan and Alex ask students and staff for more information. Many students at HSC wonder why they have to take a world language in order to graduate. So today, we ask students and staff at HSC to learn more about it. Well, learning a different language definitely helps you in life. Um, I kind of regret when I was in college, I didn't like take it more seriously. Um, I just kind of like got in to get the credit and leave, but overall, um, learning a second language is actually really helpful, especially if you work with people, which most people end up doing. Um, I think that it's definitely a skill that everybody should have, and if I could go back, I would try a little bit harder and learn the language better. I don't think that word language should be required for all students, but I think that it's good how it is where it's required for the academic honors diploma because I think that taking a word language is beneficial, but there are some students who really wouldn't want to take the language, and if they're not interested in the academic honors diploma, they shouldn't have to. I think it would be really fantastic if every student had an opportunity to learn a world language. The conflict most often has to do with the time, with finding teachers to teach those languages, with putting uh, the opportunity into a school schedule, but our world is no longer, we don't, we don't live in isolation from the rest of the world. For HSC TV, this has been Ryan Sofranco and Alex Brammer. Stop by the freshman class officer table at lunch to pick up or turn in a card to thank a first responder. Pick up a blank card or bring your own. All are invited to participate. Let's give thanks to these deserving members of our community. Any sophomores who are interested in a service and leadership opportunity should pick up an application for the A Chance to Serve program in the CCA office. Applications are due this Friday. Please see Mrs. Herndon for any questions. Juniors, as you consider your upcoming senior schedule, think about the ICE program, where you get to leave school after fourth, earn money, earn six credits, and get valuable experience in an actual workplace. See your counselor or Mr. Axon J225 before school. Calling all teachers and students new to HSE this semester. The Royal Ambassadors are hosting a luncheon for you on Tuesday, December 19th from 10.30 to 11 in Cafe D. Please come by guidance before the end of school tomorrow to sign up. Have you been wondering about any new clubs that may have formed this year? The one that is not really talked about is the Paintball Club. Let's take a look. Uh, Connor Coverdale came to me and he is pretty into paintball, he's very interested in the sport and he wanted to know if I could sponsor the club here at HSC and I went ahead and helped him out. I started this uh, to get people active into the sport of paintball. A lot of people don't really consider it a sport or play it or when they do play it it's just like a family out and join this club because I have a passion for paintball. I play it every day, every weekend. I think this club would be fun for everyone. It's just fun sport. I want people to know it's a lot more than that and it's uh, it's a great way to stay fit, stay active and that's really big. Uh, it can range anywhere from uh, 50 to 100 dollars based upon um, what all they need to rent at White River. I got drawn to paintball because it was a lot different than the other sports I was playing. Uh, we go out and play as much as we can, whether it's open play here at our local field at White River. 
or big tournaments around the Midwest. TV. This has been Jackson Snyder and Garrett Garwood. Ski and Snowboard Club will be meeting right after school tomorrow in F207. Now let's pass it on over to Grace with your sports news. Here are your sports results from yesterday. The boys varsity wrestling beat Noblesville High School 35 to 24. Andrew Eirich and Craig Kunkelman had big pins on the night. Jacob Simone, Sam Crusoe, Jacob Linux, Renvier Sadhu, Ronan Heiner, and Nathan Shuey all had solid wins. The Royals will be back in action this weekend at Guerin Catholic for the county championship. The girls' varsity swimming fell to Carmel High School 131-55. The leadership on this team is strong. This loss will help us see the most pressing areas for improvement as we continue to build up our championship lineup. The boys' varsity swimming fell to Carmel High School also on, with 139-47. They gave a good effort tonight, last night against the defending national champions from Carmel. The girls' varsity basketball beat Newcastle High School 56-29. At the end of first quarter, the Royals led 25-2. Amaya Hamilton got the team started sinking back-to-back two-footers. Molly Walton hit a layup of, fast, of a fast break. Malia Jackson sank a three from the top of the arc. And that's all I have for you today, HSC. Now back to your main anchors. Thanks for watching, HSC. We'll be back here tomorrow with our final newscast of the semester. Have a great day, Royals. Hey Royals, here's what's going on after school today. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school updates.